Wow, Alter Kana? How blasphemous. Who is he to even suggest doing anything of the sort, right? Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Otsuka Hironori. Remember him? He was the founder of Wadoryu, and because he was also a great Jujutsuka, we call him the first true MMA master. What many of you may not know is that Otsuka was also one of the first people to ever get a black belt from Funakoshi. There must have been a time when Funakoshi considered Otsuka to be the one to carry the Shodokan torch. Obviously, events occurred that prevented this, but let's not go too far into that. Otsuka was Japanese and an established jujutsu master even before he started karate. So you could say his outlook on kata might be different from that of someone with a purely Okinawan karate upbringing, like for instance Funakoshi. For the Japanese, kata is very important. It means form and it is not exclusive to martial arts. Otsuka had the following to say about kata. It is obvious that these kata must be trained and practiced sufficiently but one must not be stuck in them. One must withdraw from the kata to produce forms with no limits or else it becomes useless. It is important to alter the form of the trained kata without hesitation to produce countless other forms of training. Wow, altered kata? How blasphemous. Who is he to even suggest doing anything of the sort, right? I'm kidding, of course. But this is exactly the reaction you would get today in many dojos when you try and alter your kata beyond doing it backwards or in a mirror image. Oh, and if you like learning about this, punching that like button would be great form. As many karateka today, Otsuka also believed that you shouldn't learn too many kata. And in his book Karate Do Volume 1, he writes there are only 9 kata for Wadaru. So these 9 are the 5 Pinan kata, Naihanshi, Seishan, Kushanku and Chinto. He even said this, Wadaru has only 9 kata, which is already too many if you want to train seriously. Well, he may have had a point, however he did only need 1 year to learn the 15 kata Funakoshi had to teach him back when he was younger, only to then move on to Mabuni to learn even more. <laughs> so over time, other kata were included in the Wadaryu curriculum, namely Basai, Jion, Jite, Niseishi and Rohai. I feel what Otsuka said in his book may not reflect what he truly thought. Don't forget, Otsuka did not stop with the series of kata in Wado. There is also an elaborate list of partner drills to practice defense against unarmed and armed opponents. Now, as I went over the kata list, even Otsuka's original list, there is one kata that pops out, doesn't it? Right, Naihanshi. So we all love Naihanshi in practical karate world. Naihanshi is called Teki Shodan in Shotokan, referring to the fact that there are more than one of this kata. In Wado, there is also a mention of a Naihanshi Shodan, Nidan and Sandan, but Otsuka was pretty brutal about this series. There is something deep about it. it has three kadas, Shodan, Nidan and Sandan, but the last two are almost useless. Harsh words indeed, but it does explain why most Wado schools do not teach Nidan and Sandan and why many Wado practitioners don't even know they exist. In short, Otsuka loved kata. He really wanted students to learn them, but he also cautioned about learning too many kata. Otsuka led a pretty interesting life. Did you know he wanted to become a full-time jujutsu instructor at one point in his life? Click here to learn all about it. Chuck Norris once had an arm wrestling contest with Superman. Now I'm not gonna say who won, but the loser had to wear his underwear on the outside.